It is finally here, the best beard products of 2022. Every year at about the end of October, I make one big video rather than breaking it up into a bunch of small ones, and I cover all of my favorite beard products from beard oil to beard butter to beard wash to beard conditioner, you name it, I'm going to go over it, and I should introduce myself while I'm talking about this. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you're excited to talk beard products, please hit a thumbs up for me right now. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for checking this one out. If you are new, here. If you're new to the beard community, new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I promise there's going to be some video, some bit of information that's going to help your beard or at the very least entertain you. Okay, let's talk about this list. How do I come up with this list? What is my ranking? What is my like way to say this is in, that is out? It's very simple. I do a lot of reviews. I'm testing tons of new products, but I have a fixed amount of beard product storage. I have one set that is for things that are new and I'm working on. And then I have another set that is like my permanent shelf. To be on that permanent shelf, if I want to add something to it, I need to take something off. So that kind of limits it down to there. And then what I really base this on is if I have a day off, if I'm not testing for a review, what am I craving? What am I going to? What's actually in my shower on wash days? What do I wear on a date night with my beautiful wife? What are the things that I, when it matters the most and I need my beard to look on point, feel on point, smell on point, what am I going to? That's it. That is my list here. Now, most of the products we're going to talk about the quality of it, the consistency, the makeup of it, which is so important. It's the most important. With scent, though, I'm really only going to cover scent on the beard oils because that is a big factor for me is what it smells like. But no, if I'm talking about the scent, the quality is there. I'm only going to go over what is the absolute best. And kind of speaking of that, most of the products on this list today are going to be affiliates. That means I do get a commission. I do get a small kickback if you use my link or you use my code or both of them. You don't have to though. If something sounds good and you don't wanna support this platform, truly just go to their website, find another code or don't use a code, grab that, no hard feelings whatsoever. I do not put anything on this list because they are an affiliate. I believe in like thinking of, is it causation or correlation? Well, this is my best list. They are an affiliate because I believe they are the best. I literally turn down more affiliate offers in a week than what I accept in a year. Most beard product companies I could probably work with and probably be an affiliate with. So it's not like, oh, he picked that one because they're an affiliate. No, I picked that one because it's the best and then we made an affiliate relationship because of that. So I wanted to get that out of the way. There is nothing hidden here. I'm always transparent. I'm an open book. If you guys ever have a question, reach out to me. I will gladly answer your question very bluntly, very timely as well. I take pride in getting back to people. So getting all those things out, this is my list of the best beard products in the entire world. Beard oil. Let's kick it off right away. And of course, with a video like this so packed in, I'm just going to scratch the absolute surface of the information. If you want more details, I guarantee if I cover it today, there's a review video on it with much more information that's out there. All right, so let's go into it. The first one we have is King's Bounty by Defined Beard Co. Look at this beautiful bad boy. You can see that I've used the heck out of this. I've actually used multiple bottles and the level is not really anything to indicate because some people say, oh, look at that bottle's full. He must not have used it. Maybe it's a new bottle. Maybe I finished a tester bottle right before this, but I have used the heck out of this. This is a medium viscosity oil and King's Bounty specifically from Defined Beard Co. is a beautiful floral cologne. I could wear this just like any of the other ones I'm about to talk about every single day. I love it. Sam loves it. It's so smooth, so nice. But real quick, special one. Boom, baby. We have a completely new look. Same great product, but new branding, new labeling by Define Beard Co. Let's go. All right, the next one. And none of these are in any particular order, you guys. This is just kind of going down the line. This one is probably my most used oil in the history of my beard and that would be Ginger Jamboree by Beard Octane. This is a fruit punch citrus scent, and it is like, remember when you'd go to the dances, they'd add in fruit punch, then they'd put in some sherbet. I don't know what the real fancy way, I call it sherbet, okay, calm down. They put in sherbet, and then they dump in a bottle of Sprite. You smell all of that. You get lemon, you get lime, and you actually smell carbonation. 
Beard Octane is a thin or light viscosity oil, and this is just relaxing, refreshing, so nice. Everybody's likely going to enjoy this. I can't imagine anybody not liking a ginger jamboree scent. All right, number three, we have the third oil is going to be number seven by Dr. Nix. I should have put this seventh overall, but that's okay. This is a lime, a pine, and a citrus scent. It is so good. This is a medium viscosity oil, and there's something special. There's something magical in here. I don't know if it's the barrage oil that we don't see commonly, but my beard feels and looks absolutely amazing. This has become a literal go-to for me when I know I got to film a big video, when I know I got to go to an event. It is a light scent profile. It's all essential oils that are in here. You're going to smell it for a little while, but it's not going to be strong. It's not going to be loud. It's not going to be long lasting, but it's just really nice. And the real magic is in what it does to your beard. Do not sleep on this oil, you guys. Number seven by Dr. Nick's goodness. All right, next one up we have is the Grower by Fable CBD. This is an apple scent. It is a medium thick viscosity. We're kind of covering all the different viscosities so far, and it is probably Sam's favorite smell in the history of the world. Not just beard oils, not anything everything. This is her favorite. It is a clean, crisp apple, and it's a great CBD beard oil. If you're wondering, what CBD do? It relaxes your pores. It gets the inflammation down and allows the nutrients to get to go where they need to very easily. All right, next one we have is Sundance by Copper Johns. This would be one where I just finished a tester. I actually had just this last weekend, a date weekend with my beautiful wife. I only brought this. I also brought the cologne version of it. It is a citrus aquatic cologne. Sam put it on, or why put it on, Sam has said to me multiple times this exact phrase, what are you doing to me with this oil? She loves it. If you like anything in the sweeter cologne side of things, Woo! Sundance by Copper Johns, guys. This is a medium thick viscosity oil. It's in their gray oil blend. All right, next one up we have is the Corner Mac. Now, this one is also a sweet aquatic cologne. It has some like orange notes in there. Really smooth, really enjoyable. This is the new blend of the Bearded Mac. I would say it's a straight up medium viscosity. It is so good. If you didn't know the news, uh, Whiskey and Hard Tech is no longer a company, but the Bearded Mac bought their scents, bought their formulations, changed from a thin oil. Uh, Whiskey and Hard Tech was a medium thick, met in the middle. This is that thin viscosity oil. So, so good. You guys love this one. All right, next one up is our only other CBD oil, and that would be Brooklyn by the Alley Cat CBD. This is a peppermint and lavender. It's going to tingle. It's going to give you that ah, refreshing, amazing smell. This is a heavy bird oil one with ostrich oil and CBD oil. It's going to make your beard soft. You're going to feel that difference most of the time, right? It's not for everybody. Not everybody loves bird oils and CBD oils, but man, oh man, do I love using this one at night. All right, we got four more here. Next one is finally a permanent lineup scent. I don't do anything with seasonal because if you watch this, I want you to be able to buy it. And this would be Noel by Wes Y. This was a seasonal one. This is one of those ones that has the, the pine, that has the eucalyptus, that has the peppermint, just fresh, just invigorating. And of course, it's what I like. It's my scent profile preferences. You're going to see some similarities. I love citrus. I love mint. I, I, I got to tell it like it is, you guys. And Wes Y has a medium viscosity oil. Fantastic. Makes my beard look and feel amazing. All right, next one, a lot of your favorites out there. And this would be the Fresh Bastard by luxurious bastard. I did help him develop this because I wanted, I love this company, but a lot of his scent profiles don't fit what I like. Doesn't fit my preference. This one is a mix of invigorating mint and of clean citrus scents. They come together in a beautiful way. In bottle, you smell like menthol type scents, but when you put it in beard, you're like, oh, is that bergamot? Is there citrus in here? Yes, there is. Uh, Luxurious Bastard also would be a medium viscosity oil. All right, next one. This bad boy is about gone, and it's a two-ounce oil. That should tell you a lot. This is the Bahawat Beard Oil, two ounce, and it is the Clementine and Lavender. Another one that's just smooth, that's calming, and the black seed oil in this, in this beard oil, special. It does some, all of these things do something a little bit different. 
Who do not, do not underestimate the power of black seed oil. And then our last one, a newcomer to the block this year, probably the rookie of the year, and this would be Johnny Ray's, and I went with Clarity. It's another one that has a spin, a twist on being kind of a fresh, kind of invigorating scent, but there's some layers to it. There's a little bit of borderline spice, with that, which I don't normally like, but I love in this one truly an exotic blend it is i would say and the last one would be kind of a medium light viscosity i would say johnny ray's is a medium viscosity wonderful oil you're gonna see carriers you've never seen before and your beard's gonna say what is this thank you beard wash let's complete the second of the two most important beard products for your beard and all of these except the last one are going to be daily or gentle washes that you can use every single day and then the last one will be the only liquid stripping wash that i recommend the first one is an absolute obsession of mine you guys and this would be the solid beard wash bar by the bearded mac this is not soap Soap is stripping for the beard, which is fine. You just don't want to use it more than once a week. And I'm not doing a soap category this year because pretty much every company that I've listed today is going to have a really good quality beard soap. If you're buying an oil, you're buying a wash, just look at adding a soap on with that order. This is like a dehydrated beard wash. Imagine a bottle of beard wash, you remove all of the water and you cram it down into a puck and you get rid of the plastic. You don't have to worry about leaks. It's amazing to fly with because you don't have to worry about any like ounce limit or anything like that. And what it looks like on the inside is this bar here. Now you just rub this bad boy on your beard when your beard is wet and it's gonna lather up like crazy. When you're done with it, make sure you keep it dry. You don't want it sitting in water. You don't want it flat on an edge that's all soaking wet. Get this bad boy dry and it's gonna last a very long time. I cannot rave about this enough. Please try the solid beard wash bar by the Bearded Mac. You will have a true experience that you've never had before. I love it. All right, let's continue. Daily gentle washes. We got to mention Drift by Alley Cat. This is a natural, fresh smelling wash that's going to be everything that you want to get all the stuff out of your beard, but also make it look and feel great like you're not harming it. Next one is probably my most used wash of all time, and that would be the LCW Wash by Beard Octane. This has probably the most lather out of any wash you'll ever experience. The saying a little bit goes a long way has never been more true than with this product here. And with the new branding, we also have the Beard Wash by Defined Beard Co. We now have King's Bounty and other scents in there. Yes, an amazing wash in some of my favorite scents in the world. And then the last one on the daily gentle side of things, kind of a newcomer, but is becoming really known for their shower products and they're making these and doing such a good job. That would be the revitalizing, oh, I grabbed the conditioner. Imagine that this is the beard wash. <laughs> the revitalizing beard wash from Wild's Fine Grooming. Really, really good. This will be on the show later today, but the revitalizing beard wash is an awesome wash to just, ugh, just get it all out, lather it. You can run your fingers through afterwards. You don't need to follow any of these with a conditioner if you don't want to. That's big. And then the last one, this is the only stripping wash on the list, and this would be from the Bad Donkey Beard Care. This has got that eucalyptus, that peppermint scent to it, and it's gonna strip your beard. It's gonna get all the sodium, all the dirt, all the oil out of there, and some of you say, well, Dan, you don't wanna strip your natural oils. You do, you absolutely do once a week or once every other week. And it's not a problem if you're using a good quality oil afterwards. It's likely even better than what you have naturally. Get a stripping wash into your rotation. Just don't overuse it. Beard butter, full of nourishment, will add a little bit of styling and control to your beard. I wear it at night only, but you can wear it during the day. You can wear it at night, totally up to you. First one on the list is the newest one that just came out in the last couple of weeks and they knocked it out of the park, you guys. And that would be the unscented. They only offer unscented butter from Dr. Nick's. This stuff is light. 
It is smooth. It's going to run through your beard with no tension. It's not going to have any like where thing I dislike with butter is when it's too tacky and it pulls your hairs out. This is going to get in there and go nice and easily. You want to make sure you're applying butter to a damp beard, just like any of the products we're going to talk about. And a nice little hack real quick. If you don't know, if you have an unscented butter and you want it to smell, scoop out your desired amount of butter in hand, add a couple of drops of your scented beard oil, melt it down. Now you have a scented butter every single time. This one is a new kid on the block, but my goodness, you'll read the comments. There's people that have tried this comment down below. You'll see how good and how special this butter is. All right, the next one we have is also one I believe making the list for the first time, and that would be the Beard Butter by Luxurious Bastard. New container, new kind of formula to make sure it's not melting or having any issues. This is one of, if not the lightest butters on this list, straight up crushed it. Absolutely love this butter so, so much. All right, next one up is another. I know it's a trend here. This is just, again, what I like, you guys. And that would be the Beard Butter by Alley Cat Beard Co. There's so many beautiful carriers in here that you don't see anywhere else. And it just does such a great job of nourishing my beard, adding a little bit of scent, and just making it feel wonderful when I get up in the morning and rinse it out. All right, the next one is probably the thickest or the tackiest butter, but I just love it. I will add a couple of drops of oil in hand at times to smoothen it and soften it, but it's totally worth it for me. And that would be the Beard Butter by Bahawat. Once again, we have that black seed oil magic that's in here, and it's hard to explain, but there's just something magical. My beard just reacts so well to it. Being probably the thickest butter, if I need a little like, I don't know, a little bit of like styling during the day. It's like, oh, I'm having a rough beard day. I will dampen my beard and I will add this in and comb it through. It's a great option to add some styling or hold control. All right, next one up is the Beard Butter from uh, the company known as uh, Beard Octane. And I want to keep wanting to say Ginger Jamboree, but it's not about Ginger Jamboree. It's about the butter here. This is a very light, it is borderline whipped. It's not whipped, right? It's not a whipped butter anymore. They used to be, they got away from that, but it still feels like that light consistency. It's going to melt down so quickly, so easily into the beard. Love it. Two more guys. The next one is the literal inventor of beard butter back in 2013. They were the first to use it. They owned the term. They came up with this and that would be Detroit grooming with their beard butter. And I don't want to talk about scent too much, but I got to throw in bell Isle. This is a lavender based scent in here and mm, relaxing, calming, smooth. This is, I believe the only butter on the list that does have wax in it. So that is something to consider. If I use this butter, I do wash my beard the next day. I don't like to leave wax in my beard, so just something to consider on this one. And then our last one that we have here, you guys, would be Copper John's. So, so good. Again, light, smooth, nourishing. If you're like, man, that Copper John's oil sounded good to me, look at adding a butter. It really is fantastic. And then I have one that I could not grab. I used up a butter recently, and I guess I did not get a, a new order in, or I didn't have another one available, but I cannot make this list about beard butters without putting in Weather Beard. Their beard butter, again, is one of the lightest in the game. It is so uniquely, like, consistency-wise, you almost have to try it to understand it. But again, it's going to go in, no tangles, no tackiness, no snags. It's going to give your beard hairs everything that they need, especially overnight. Beard conditioner. I use this in the shower after a wash only a couple of times a week. I try to stick to about two to three times a week. The first one is the one that I kind of showed and peeked at earlier, and that would be the Wild Swine. And this is the beard conditioner. They have a couple of different options. This is by far my favorite that they have. And it's that revitalizing. I did want to show you guys the beard wash so you can see the graphics from earlier. Grab, they look similar, which can be an issue when you're in the shower. Make sure you go carefully with that one. Really great beard conditioner by this company that hopefully this year is going to really start to shine and get out there and be active because they have great products across the board. All right, next one up is the Sweetwater Conditioner by Copper Johns. 
This is a lighter conditioner. The last one's kind of like a medium conditioner and conditioner is hard to explain. It's one of those things where when you start to understand your beard, you'll know, okay, today I need a thicker conditioner. I need a lighter conditioner. This one by Copper Johns is a lighter one. Same with the next one, which is Weather Beard. They have a same kind of light conditioner, but it's just gonna help your beard not have tangles, not have snags. It's gonna go through and really soften your beard and relax it. You just wanna make sure you really thoroughly rinse. You don't do use too much. You don't work it into the skin. These are only for your beard hairs. We also have the matching counterpart of Drift, and this would be their beard conditioner. Again, this would be in the kind of medium light uh, conditioner conditioners. And then the last one is what I think is the thickest one on this list. Other than I have one more, man, I keep messing up on my grabbing one. And this would be the beard conditioner by Beard Octane. Really good, thick option. I would not use this one more than once a week. And then let me do some magic skills right here. Boom. And I'm back and I have the newly branded. This would easily be right there with Beard Octane as the thick option. And this would be Defined Beard Co. If your beard is really feeling off, you really feel like you got a lot of static, you really feel like your beard has just not been doing what you want to, really make sure you're looking at all the variables, but sometimes you just need a really thick, deep nourishing beard conditioner, and these would be your good options. The other ones are gonna be more of your lighter options that you can use on kind of a more regular basis. Beard Balm. Now this is a product I do not use unless I have to for a review. I don't even love giving recommendations on it, but for me, a beard balm is firm. A beard balm is for styling, for control. I'm not a fan of the beard balms that are like medium and kind of like a butter, but kind of not. I want you to get some firm control, some styling help. And there are two main ones that I recommend when it comes to that. One of them would be the Beard Balm by the Luxurious Bastard. This bad boy is firm. It is tough to get this out of here, but it does melt down kind of easily, not super easily. A little trick is you can use a blow dryer on it to soften it up a little bit. But once you get that bad boy in your beard, it's gonna lock it in place. It's gonna control your styling. And then the other one I don't have with me because I normally give away all of my beard balm to my buddies or moderators, and that would be the Johnny Ray's Beard Balm. They did it right. They have a firm, stronghold beard balm. Probably gonna give this one away after I film this video, but I just recently got it in. So my two beard balm recommendations would be Luxurious Bastard and Johnny Ray's. Tools, our last category. I'm gonna make this one really quick. For combs, I have only used for the last year plus, I don't really know how long it was, has been, is the carbon fiber combs from Chicago Combs. I'll throw up some pictures on this category. I use the number eight. It is waterproof. It is heat proof. It's absolute no static. It's so good. You got to feel the difference by trying a carbon fiber comb from Chicago Combs. Next thing would be the heated brush. I have used for two and a half years now, every single day, the Aberlite Pro. I love it. I have my original one. I've never had an issue. I'd use 320 degrees. I specifically use the heated brush on my mustache and on my sides. Other than that, I use a blow dryer and I recommend really any blow dryer by Babilis. I use the Babilis Rapido Pro and then I have another one from their signature barber series. Both are great options, you guys. Sam and I used to have like a cheap $20 hair dryer and then, I don't know, a year or two ago, we upgraded and spent our money to buy a new one. It was worth every single penny. It made the job quicker. It made my beard feel better. It sounded better absolutely worth it. And then kind of on that same breath would be trimmers or clippers to get your beard trimmed. Now I'm going to give kind of two options here. The more budget or like user consumer priced one would be the Brio Beardscape. Great one. I used that for the first like four years of my beard. Never had a problem. Never had an issue. Great customer service. You don't really have to worry about anything. And it's more at kind of the, the user consumer type price. But I did recently try the Babilis trimmer and clippers and they're just better. They're way better. They're more expensive. They're three to four times more expensive, but oh, it just goes to the beard lighter. It goes to the beard easier. However, I know a lot of you that's way out of your price line and you're like, there's no way I can do that. I get it. I totally understand. These are more so for the barbers, but I couldn't make this video without talking about what I thought was the actual best option. Cause I do know some of you are like, nope, I want the best, whatever it is, I'm going to get it. That one is the absolute best, the Babilis. And there's great, once you get into that barber range of Andis and wall, they all make great ones. But for me, I really dig the Babilis. 
We did it. We made it to the end. I have a love-hate relationship with this video. I love it because so many of you ask for it and it does really well on the views. I hate it because there's a ton. If you guys could see all the stuff I have to get ready for this video, there's a ton of planning. I really want to make sure I have the best list possible, the most thorough, the most honest list. And so I really spend a lot of time on it. And hey, it's worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried any of the products on this list? Let us know your experiences. Is it spot on? Is that the best oil, the best wash that you've ever used? Or feel free to also say, hey, I bought this. It wasn't for me and explain why. I want to have conversations from all angles here, right? This is something that is open to the community and it's a baseline for what works for me. Are these absolutely hardline, the best and only beard products on the market? No, of course not. I just could not have enough time to make all of the products I love and use into one video. So I narrowed it down to my absolute core of the best of the best. Please guys, let me know your comments. Let me know your questions down below. And of course I have links and discount codes. They will all be in the description. Feel free not to use them, but if you do want to support the channel, that's absolutely amazing. I appreciate all of you guys. Can't wait to hear the feedback on this one. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.